Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your a weekly reading for Pisces. How are you guys this week, Pisces? Now, I did put singles love readings up on Monday. Uh, you can check out my playlist and I did put up some random readings, but I don't, yeah, I didn't do Pisces. I only did six. I will have some more up probably on Saturday. Okay, so Pisces. This can be any aspect of your life. Take it how it resonates. Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Oh, you need to know that. Dragon's Horde, protecting the future. Okay, so you're protecting the future. It could be your finances. You may be preparing for something. Maybe planning to get a better job, a home. But it's an energy of protecting it. So choices and their consequences so it's about making good choices okay and the consequences of making choices feast of plenty yeah too much sometimes too uh, much of a good thing isn't so good possibly yeah and this card and another one so it's the sky dancer it's come out for a few people it's about surrendering so it could be about giving up things that you don't really need because something, you know, has to do with making choices. I see some sort of a decision here. And then I see the joyful muse. So we have some kind of inspiration. So some of you may be inspired by something here. Okay. Some sort of something creative could be music. Some of you are surrendering to something, but you're uh, moving towards this being inspired or you're inspired to do this. To make better choices. Now these could be all kinds of things. Your health. Uh, your career, creative pursuits, okay? So there is an energy of having to let go, but it's about putting something behind. But it's also an energy of not uh, giving up, okay? To stay inspired. So there's some pretty uh, wild energy here. Let's see what this is going to be for you. Let's put this here, yeah. This happens when there's too many cards. So we'll just go like this. We'll go like this and this. How does that go? How did that go? That way, this way, and this way. All right. That'll do. <laughs> so Pisces, let's see what this is all about. Does Pisces need to know about this overall energy? Does Pisces need to know? There we go. Oops, two come out. Yeah, there's that decision. There it is. So this is about grounding yourself. See, look at this, preparing for the future. So it could be, you know, a new job. You're focused on your money and your finances. Uh, but there's definitely something here. Uh, make sure, you know, it could be something you're not seeing. Take off the rose-colored glasses or make sure that you see. There's some kind of a decision, okay? Um, yeah. And we have a judgment. So there's definitely some sort of a decision here, but it's also a healing. It's also an energy of letting go, uh, releasing things. So I feel there's a, you're making some kind of a choice. It'd be a reconciliation to let go of things that aren't good for you, that you don't need. Okay, it's about, um, I always feel it's kind of that awakening energy. So it's kind of like making a decision here, failing to recognize this um, judgment some of you may have made some bad decisions at some point but now you're trying to make better ones because i do see the inspiration it could be somebody inspiring you as well so i'm just going to move these over so i do see the five of wands obstacles and challenges and things to overcome here so it looks like a decision of shedding this energy okay releasing something here now judgment is about healing so it could be a health something to do with health but there's some obstacles and challenges yeah it's an energy of overcoming something and being inspired to it's about taking action okay yeah look at that oh, beautiful energy king of cups Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, so you have someone here who's feeling some lack or loneliness. Someone's lacking something here in their life. Now, it could be somebody who feels like they're not good enough. Someone may have failed to recognize something here. Yeah, it could be a lack of money. Uh, I, I actually feel there's some kind of inspiration. I don't know if you're inspiring somebody. 
okay, who feels like they lack, they don't have any money, or they're not good enough, or they're lonely, you see, yeah, be you, and we have the king of wands, and we have the knight of swords, so it has to do with someone being decisive, see, someone here, I feel, was indecisive, it's failing to recognize, they're failing to recognize the queen of pentacles, someone who's stable, grounded, focused on their money. It's a person who's very balanced. Somebody's made a bad choice. I can see it. Somebody made a bad choice with the Feast of Plenty. Choices have consequences. Now someone's lonely, missing someone. Now it's possible the Queen of Pentacles has tried to inspire someone and they failed to see it, or they just didn't make a decision. You see, now we have someone who's inspired person's inspired this is somebody who's passionate creative uh, inspired you got a person coming towards you this is someone who's now decisive now um, it could be a relationship job or just a, a person around you um, wow someone's definitely it's this energy of someone who knows what they want they're going after it you see this is someone who either felt they weren't good enough or didn't have money. Now they're feeling inspired and they're making a money, okay, or using creative pursuits. It could be anything, but wow, this is now, there's the Empress, the birth of something new. See, someone who has a lot to offer. This I feel that you're inspiring somebody or they're inspiring you. Okay, feeling inspired, feeling creative. Uh, music, it could be someone writing a song. Because um, sometimes when people are lonely or they don't have any money or they feel like they're not good enough, it's generally an energy of someone who feels like they're not good enough. They, uh, they lack something. So it's an energy of a person who definitely needs somebody to give them that little boost, right? And the Empress is very good at that. The Empress is very generous, very gracious. I feel someone's being gracious, probably with the pentacles, with their time. Someone failed to see um, everything someone has to offer. You see? This, this could be in, inspiring someone in a whole lot of other ways too. Okay? Because this person's now decisive. They're chasing something, going after it. This is someone who's now in a hurry. You see? They're doing a lot of thinking. It's a person who chooses their words, chooses their battles. Somebody here is choosing uh, to come in and, and fight for something here. Yeah, wow. Tell me about the Empress. Yeah. So we have these two cards. So there's that little light bulb going off. It has to do with success. See, the Empress is success. Someone failed to recognize. Someone here has a lot to offer. They're successful. Uh, you see, they're having that aha moment. We have someone here who uh, maybe when they were younger, okay, could be a child. Someone's definitely leveling up here. You can see their energy. This is someone who's kind of focused on themselves. Now, it could be someone being inspired here, failed to recognize someone was trying to, um, yourself even, you know, or this person trying to um, show you something, to get you moving, uh, maybe starting something, because it's an energy of here for a good time and not a long time. But it's also someone who can be, you know, charming, enthusiastic, playful, but they don't really stick to something. So there's some kind of truth, you see? Someone kind of focused on themselves. It's all about me. <laughs> yeah. Two of swords. Yeah. So we have some kind of transformation. Somebody here is transforming. It's an energy of the Empress being generous, being creative, being open. Somebody who's sharing their abundance, their knowledge, their wisdom. You see? There we go with the justice. I actually feel this could be a love interest too. For those of you, I know um, most of you uh, watch readings for that. So it has to do with balance and justice, making the right decision, doing what's right for you. I do see some Libra, little Scorpio energy. So... And so the Scorpio energy is um, the birth of something new. There's creating some kind of change. There it is. Again, see, Empress energy. The energy of somebody being open. This is also someone, someone who shares um, very generously, showering their abundance upon someone. But it's now an energy of someone who's uh, waiting for something here. Okay? 
waiting for someone to shower the abundance upon them. Somebody failed to recognize the Empress energy. So has to do with someone who maybe didn't come in right, didn't start something right. Maybe they weren't being fair because it has to do with the decision. Someone judged somebody wrong. They failed to recognize the Empress energy. Uh, they just didn't see it. Uh, five of Wands. So there's the yeah, It's an energy of letting go of chaos, conflict. Um, it's an energy of somebody reaching for their hopes and dreams. I feel the Empress is telling somebody to go for it, to reach out. They're open. You see? Someone failed to see that. This is their hopes and dreams. They made a bad decision with judgment. Someone judged somebody wrong here. Okay, they didn't make a very good decision. See, that's the, the Feast of Plenty. Choices and their consequences. Mm -hmm. We've got someone here who's longing for love. Maybe children. This is somebody who failed to see. Isn't that always the way it is? <laughs> but, you know, actually, I feel there's something um, very positive going to come out of this. So let's have a look more into the star. The star is about letting go of things that no longer serve. Chaos, conflict, um, you know, conflicting energy, fighting, arguing, whatever it is. It's Often it's there's competition or just too many obstacles. Uh, it's an energy where there's too many obstacles for somebody to overcome something. So it's almost like they... Uh, I mean, maybe there was some advice or something here. Someone didn't do it. They didn't reach for the stars. They didn't go for it. So, but there's a need to let go of what no longer serves. And that has to do with being, one, being judgmental. Someone was being a little bit immature, didn't stick around. Or it's somebody who maybe wasn't ready. Um, we'll see with this King of Cups. Why is this here? Yeah, see, someone didn't, they wanted something, see? So someone who wants to be indulged. It's sort of like an energy of someone who wants someone to do things for them. <laughs> um, uh, I feel it's an energy where um, you, you shared your abundance. You gave this person something and you were, you know, you were waiting here for this person to now shower the abundance upon you. So, but the Empress is generous, but only up to a certain point. Um now, it could be to do with marriage or commitment, something you were hoping for, okay? So, I feel this person may have felt you were out of their league or they weren't good enough. See, this is someone who failed to recognize you maybe offered them something. You gave them something. You were trying to inspire them. Now, I feel this person is inspired. I feel there is someone who's now ready. Now, it could be ready for a relationship, a commitment, but there is a decision. It could be a reconciliation. I know a lot of you don't like it, but it isn't always a reconciliation. Uh, it's an energy, and it has to do with uh, judgments to let go okay to heal uh, to release all that stuff that keeps you uh, from moving forward from being having a happy life being healthy whatever it is it's the new okay <laughs> it's that it goes right beautifully with the empress the birth of something new renewal um, somebody could be you know looking at things different now but I can see with this Nine of Cups, what we have here is someone who um, was being overly cautious. They wanted something. Feel the Empress indulged this person. Uh, but there, nothing came back. Because eventually the Empress, um, and especially water signs like yourself, Pisces, you want something. Eventually, you know, you're open. Like, you know, okay, now give me what I want. There's the candle just went out see someone didn't get what they wanted now they're lonely or they don't have any money i feel someone was trying to inspire someone or uh, help them out or you know and um it was ignored yeah someone failed to see see now we have someone who's single who's lacking this is someone who's lonely it's a person who doesn't want to be single too i can tell you that often that nine of pentacles is someone who has everything they need but they don't have love you see they're lacking love in their life they're lonely yeah so we have someone leveling up with the king of wands so someone who now knows what they want and they're going to go after it uh, they're feeling inspired. So it's an energy of surrendering, giving up the things that no longer serve, releasing them, just letting it go. It's just, I, I always see if the Ten of Swords is around, just blow it off, be done, you know, be gone. It's time to look forward here. So this King of Wands is someone who's, oh, maybe this person was too proud, okay? 
But I don't know whether they lack money or they're just lonely. I feel they have everything they need. Um, I feel they're pretty independent kind of person, but they're not happy. They're not getting what they want. I feel like you gave them, you indulged them, you gave them something, uh, whether it was love and nurturing or you were helping them, whatever it is. So here they are. This person's now inspired. Okay, yeah, they are coming in to offer you something here. <laughs> they want to build. They want something here. Oh, yeah, look at that. So we have the king and queen of cups. See, this person's chasing you because now you've been sitting there waiting for them to give you something. All right? Um, whether it's, you know, an offer, let's start something. Uh, let's commit. Whatever it is. It's, it's an energy of someone who's got to do what's right for them. You see? Could be someone who has baggage from a past relationship. This is someone who, and I got to tell you, there is a person here who, here for a good time, not a long time, they always end up single and lonely. Uh, this is someone who doesn't like to be alone, okay? This is somebody who likes to have somebody. But it's a person who obviously um, needs to heal some baggage here, definitely. It's about making things right, healing as well. So the Queen of Cups is someone who's ready to offer that cup. See, this person's chasing after this Queen of Cups now. So it's an energy of somebody who may have gotten away. This is someone who doesn't now doesn't want you to get away. Uh, they're determined uh, to offer you something here. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. You could be the King. You could be the Queen. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, see, it's energy of weighing the pros and the cons. See, it's energy of someone who's been procrastinating, weighing the pros and the cons, should I or shouldn't I. This is someone who doesn't want you to get away. So I feel what's happening. I don't know whether they feel in, just inspired, but I feel you are inspiring them. If you are that queen of or that empress, you see, there's some kind of truth and success. You know, telling someone some truth, maybe how to be more successful, but they're being immature, right? Here for a good time, not a long time. They're not stable. They're not ready. Um, well, they're just too focused on themselves, <laughs> and they fail to see what the Empress was offering. Yeah. So, yeah, see, yeah, that Queen of Cups is thinking about going out, meeting new people, see? Weighing the pros and the cons, should I or shouldn't I? But it looks like an invitation. Um I think this person's procrastinating this, to be honest. They're being careful what they wish for, being cautious, uh, playing it safe. Uh, this is someone who's lacking. They're lonely. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. This is someone who doesn't like to be alone. So they, But they rush in and out. They, it's like somebody who can't make up their mind here. They're indecisive and can't make up their mind. Maybe you tried to inspire this person. Now they don't have a lot of money. You tried to inspire them, right, by sharing your abundance. And they didn't take you seriously, maybe. But be a little careful of anyone who's in that energy that was indecisive. They definitely failed to recognize, but they may have been very indecisive. Now they're lacking. They're lonely or they don't have any money, okay? And they're single. They don't like to be single, but yet they rush in and out of situations always something new maybe they had another person uh, they were trying to make a choice they maybe made the wrong decision but whoever this person is they want to they're back and forth back and forth very indecisive trying to decide to invite you um, maybe to introduce you to friends and family or just an invitation to an event. I actually feel like you'd probably take this, but yeah, they're definitely becoming more decisive. They're feeling inspired. But that inspiration, I gotta tell you, I feel like it's you trying to um, do something to get this person moving. Tell me more about the Prince of Staves. Yeah, this is somebody losing control. They're out of control. Um, kind of energy where the Empress has taken their power back here and then we have some Taurus energy so that's definitely Empress energy as well so now this has to do with uh, someone who does things their own way you're just not on the same page so it's possible if you're in that Empress energy you're not that inspired by uh, this person <laughs> but take it as it resonates what I'm feeling is two people who are very creative okay um, this could be the same person leveling up but 
quite honestly, some of you, I feel like you're not on the same page with this person. You're taking your power back for the way, because of the way they conduct themselves. They're trying to control something, but you're they're losing control because they're out of control. This is here for a good time, not a long time energy. So it has to do with the way they're behaving. Uh, but it's also someone's failing to recognize how you conduct yourself or even themselves. You see? Mm-hmm. We got a person who's going through it, you know. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of an awakening, you know. Uh, the judgment often is awakening. If you are trying to inspire someone to help them make more money, and they're not taking your advice, I mean, there's really not a whole lot you can do, right? Um, but I definitely see friends, family, some kind of opportunity is solid. This person's determined here. You see, they're very focused, very driven. They're not giving up. They know what they want. Very charming. Also someone very proud. <laughs> so let's see where this, let's see what the dragon's horde is protecting the future. See, it's an energy where you may feel like you need to protect yourself. Like I say, I feel there's an energy here for some of you where this person doesn't have any money now. Now they're coming towards you. You were trying to inspire them at some point. Maybe you were open maybe to a relationship. Maybe they came and went. Um, maybe they even chose another person because uh, I do see the energy of possibly three people here. But see, it's protecting the future. Don't fail to recognize. Take off the rose colored glasses. This person could be very charming. I feel like you will, um, and it's possible too at some point you showered abundance on this person and then you were sitting there waiting while they were indecisive, you see. So it's where the energy is changing the focus, focusing on the one, the wand. So I think this is someone who's focused on someone else, maybe someone younger. They chose wrong. Now they're lacking, they're lonely. So there's maybe even been a divorce or something here um, for someone. But yeah. So this person is going to come towards you. They know what they want now. They're more decisive. They're still not 100%. Okay. This person's very charming. And I do think they don't like to be lonely. Okay. This is someone who doesn't like to be alone. They don't like to be single. Um, they lack. See, they're lacking something. You know, they're lacking love. They're lacking. And I actually feel I'd be a little careful about the money. Just in case it's someone you know and you've got a lot, you've shared, you've given, um, you've tried to inspire them, uh, whatever it is, maybe to share your knowledge, uh, you know, your creativity to help this person create something. Um, and they didn't do it. Now they, they're lacking. So I kind of have a feeling here you want to be a little careful. Um, just it's an energy of just playing it safe. Okay. Yeah. Cause I feel it's an energy where they don't have a lot to give. It's like they want you to give them something. So I feel like you've indulged this person already you've given, and now they need to give you something. So it's possible they may start something, but I would be a little careful if they come towards you. It could be someone wanting something from you. Um, that's why I'd be a little concerned of the reciprocity, equal give and take. See, you didn't get something you wanted, but you indulged this person, gave them what they wanted. So I feel like you've kind of turned your back on them. And, uh, but I think they're chasing after you. I just hope it's for the right reasons. Tell me about the Feast of Plenty. Yeah, see, this is the choices this person's made in their love life. You see? Choices and their consequences. I feel someone connected with another person they chose someone else someone who was younger you see and you've changed your focus you're no longer really interested um, yeah this person was indecisive between yourself and someone else they didn't see everything you had to offer at the time and it's actually two empress energies so i actually feel you and the other person have a lot to offer uh, but what do they have to offer <laughs> well now, we know the King of Cups can be very generous. Uh, they like to spoil. Yeah, yeah, they don't. They usually like to spoil. They like to cook and uh, take care of the house. So they could be a, uh, another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or just somebody in that energy. I actually feel this person's probably, um, you know, everybody has different parts of themselves. But 
Uh, I have a feeling they're probably more like the King of Cups in some ways. They could have Taurus in their chart um, as well. So, yeah. Interesting. Oh, the King of Cups, you yeah, know, the choices and their consequences. They chose somebody else, maybe because they were younger, more attractive, or uh, or they just chose someone who was younger. Um, I do see that energy of choosing the one. You may have felt like this person was the one, because I do feel like you shared with this person. You were open to it. I feel like, actually, honestly, it does look like there was two people with the Empress. Like This person's failing to see. They thought somebody was the Empress. They weren't possibly. Mm. I love these readings that are a little confusing. It's like a challenge. Tell me about the Sky Dancer. Yeah, it's kind of looking they chose the wrong person. Somebody wasn't really focused on them. Okay, they were all about themselves. They thought was their empress. That's uh, what's going on. Sky Dancer, Surrender. Sometimes it's hard to put the finger on it. Um, sky dancer surrender why is this yeah so i feel like you may have waited for this person i don't know if the ship has sailed or what but i feel like you waited uh, it's an energy of giving up no longer waiting the empress only waits for so long um some of you are getting yourself out there actually thinking of getting out meeting new people socializing uh, i feel like you waited for an invitation you waited for this person to invite you uh, you may travel in the same social circle. In fact, you all could be connected. Um, you're all in that same circle. And that could be uh, something that's this person's got to let go of. They need to let go of the outcome. This is someone who chose someone who thought was their hopes and dreams. And it definitely didn't go very well. See, there was a lot of obstacles, fighting, fighting. Um, it's likely two people who aren't right for each other. See, you were the right one. So, or you're feeling that way about them. Oh my gosh. Joyful muse. There we go. Yeah, someone's pondering. They're looking at this. They're looking at the details. See, this person wants to reach out. They're not sure you're going to reciprocate how you're going to respond or if you will. Um, I think they're going to, the playing it safe is where they communicate. It, they communicate in a, in a way that, um doesn't really tell you everything you probably <laughs> want to know but they're hoping you'll indulge them and accept them. i feel they actually want they may want you to invite them but i actually feel they're in, in this case um i think they're going to give you something you want they're looking at that i think this person knows they weren't reciprocating or sharing um but i do think they're going to reach out so this is solid, okay? It feels solid. Um, it's planting the seed, something you may have waited for. Or maybe they're waiting for you uh, to invite them over or whatever has happened here. But this person's um, joyful muse. Yeah, see, you want to be careful it's long term. Like, be careful what you wish for. The muse is, um, I mean, it's somebody who uh, is, you know, they really like one person or they like a subject or something. Um, for a short period of time you see here for a good time not a long time uh, but they are I do feel they're musing over this and procrastinating a little they're looking at it they want it to be successful they're hoping they get what they want um, I think this is someone who made a choice between someone they thought was the an empress and really didn't turn out well yeah, I do feel there's been some conflict and obstacles or there is in this situation where they may feel like it's out of reach, the situation. But I feel someone's still waiting, yeah, waiting for their soulmate, their best friend. Um, but, you know, like I say, with the Empress, only going to wait so long. This person feels like it's too late. They almost feel like giving up, but I don't think they're going to because we've got the page there, yeah. It's partnering up. See, this is someone who... I was looking for a partner. Uh, I feel like you have inspired this person. Or I feel like you tried to give them something. Um, I don't know if they took that and did anything with it. I don't know if they, you inspired them to do something and they did it. And they're going to give you a gift. Um, or something they've created. <laughs> so all kinds of things here. The energy is the same, just different. So you know, this person is thinking of partnering up. Now it could be inspiring them to start a business. 
a company or to partner up. See, this is two people. Now, this could be just a friendship thing. Um, maybe this is somebody, you know, that's in the friend zone right now. But it's about a soulmate. They're looking at this. Tell me about this two of cups. Two people drinking from each other's cup. There's been something here. It's definitely a lot of passion. Yeah, see, it's about a strong, there's a strong connection. Um, this is one of those situations I feel where no matter what's happened here, unless it's something really, really bad, um, something that's unreasonable, um, where you can still be friends, whatever it is. But I feel like you travel in the same social circle. All people involved are in that circle. Now, whether you know each other um, at all, you're in that circle. That's uh, something it's telling me here. But this person's now becoming decisive, gaining the strength and the confidence, seeing this connection. And uh, yeah, so there's an energy of a uh, sense of longing and loss. They may actually uh, give you a gift to show you they have some feelings. Uh, maybe you gave this person something at one point. Uh, it was never, you know, could have been loaning them something. Uh, or you gave them something and they never gave you anything. But this person is actually quite sentimental. Now, I don't know if there's a single parent or they had a child with somebody else. And there was a lot of conflict and fighting. Things didn't go well. It's definitely a person who doesn't like to be alone because they're here for a good time, not a long time. Uh, but I think the person they connected to was actually like that now. Uh, someone younger. Yeah, going down that path. See, it's an inspiration, joyful muse. It's a set of, it's three. Um, there's some things going on here. Uh, I think it was a short period where they were with somebody or it was with yourself. Maybe, you know, whatever is happening here, they're looking at this compatibility, the things that you have in common. Um, common friends, creativity, and to go down this path. Um, they're looking at this to see if it'll be successful. Something wasn't. So a lot of you are like, oh, no, no, no way. Well, I guess it depends. I know a lot of people who are vocal <laughs> more often than not are like, no way, I don't want them. But I wonder how you would feel if this person came towards you and told you this. Now, if, they, if this is someone who did something really bad, absolutely, you know, move along. There's always something new, getting out, meeting new people, putting the past in the past, surrender, leaving it behind and going towards someone new. But this person's the one who's looking at that energy. You see, the sense of longing, longing for love. Longing is very much a family person, too. This is someone who likes family. Now, I don't know if they never introduce you to their family, or you may know some of them, or you're in your social circle. There's something about that. Um, so this person can be quite sentimental. Maybe you gave them something, and they're looking at it, uh, and kind of reminiscing about something that happened between you. It looks like a, a gift, an opportunity. It was never reciprocated, though. Uh, so caterpillar opportunity so it's an energy of the transformation this person's coming out of that cocoon i do think they've gone through a healing i feel like they're going through possibly even a bit of awakening they're releasing things that no longer serve behavior habits um, maybe even letting go of a relationship maybe it wasn't a marriage but it was definitely some kind of a commitment it's also letting go of baggage And we have the jeweled web, connectivity. So this is this person wants to connect. They feel like there's a connection here. And I don't know if you're, you've friend zoned each other or what the deal is. But there is a connection and they know it too. So, yeah. But I don't know if this person's confident to feel that you'll still feel the same. Uh, I mean, they may still be around you. You may still talk and socialize with this person. Or I don't feel as if somebody you ignore if you ran into them in public. That's why I don't feel like there's anything really bad here. Um, and if there is something in your reading um, it, that's happened with this person and you kind of see it, it's possible it may not be your reading. Because I actually see this jeweled web, the connectivity. You're connected through um, friends and family. Now, it's possible you got someone who's checking you out on social media and places to see what's going on. And we have the deep quiet. So this person's just being still right now. Um, 
very quiet they're keeping still meditation there you know it's an energy of someone's grounding themselves uh, they've gone through some kind of healing so it's, there's been some stillness here they're not acting yet they're just looking and pondering it uh, so it may not happen okay but if you know who this is is sometimes when you hear these readings like this um, it makes you look at things differently after a period of time and that's why the energy shows up it's not here to torture you or trigger you it's uh, more unlikely to either lead you to something new to heal to let go um, even a reading can give closure sometimes and sometimes you just need things justified that you made right decisions you see if you're one of those people, and there's lots of you, I see your comments that, you know, um, had a situation uh, that you've never really had closure for, you don't really know. Some people are really good at just blowing it off. Other people don't. They carry it around as a little baggage. Um, and it sometimes it's there tapping you on the shoulder when you need to be reminded of not making mistakes from the past. Um, to not do the same things that you did before or let somebody in who <laughs> created chaos in your life. So I, I feel the chaos was with somebody else. Um, it could be with yourself, but I feel there was some fighting and chaos. Uh, I feel there was other people involved and probably gossip. Um, um, so there was definitely something there. Not necessarily the gossip, but there's definitely other people. So... I see you're going down this path possibly with this person. They see the things you have in common, the creativity, the inspiration. You see, there's something major about that because it keeps wanting me to say it and do it and keep going over that card. I'm obviously missing something. Um, yeah, the crossing, crossing the bridge. See, this person isn't making a move. They need to cross that bridge. They need to initiate, and they know they do. They're old school, okay? I feel this person's pretty old school rules. I feel this person's made a little bit of a mess of uh, their life in some ways. They've made choices, thinking it was for the right reasons, but it wasn't because those choices have had consequences. So... All right, I so wish you the best here. Now, yeah, there's a cycle that's ending. Uh, things are about to shift. For you, it may be over. This could be just closure, knowing this person um, actually seen what you've seen, okay, and probably didn't say anything um, because they made their choices, right? They made their bed. They have to lay in it. That's probably the person who, more than likely, how they feel, right? Sometimes old school people are like that, right? People who have those old traditions, right? The status quo, doing what society expects of them. So, and that's where I feel this person may have been. So, the cycle's over, yeah. This person's definitely um, stable, practical. They're looking into the future, making plans. They want things to go in their favor. I feel they do okay financially. I feel this is more loneliness. Now, uh, there could have been something to do with a lack of money, um, maybe it was the empress. <laughs> um, empresses, they may have thought somebody was an empress and wasn't. I often, I see this often that way too. People think, oh, this is my person, right? This is the one and only find out that this person uh, doesn't have the same beliefs. They're not on the same page. They're not at the same level. Um, but by then there's a commitment or even a child on the way. And that's what I kind of feel with that six of cups. Something happened there. So, okay, this person's grounded. I feel they're stable. Um, maybe they own land or property or something. And I actually feel this is someone who's pondering, partnering up with you. Okay? Uh, they have to initiate it, though. I feel they know they have to initiate it. They may have been waiting for you to initiate, but I feel like you've already done that. Okay? Uh, likely in the past. Take care. Wish you the best on the path you're on. If you want this person to come in, wonderful if not some of you i definitely see a cycle ending and possibly meeting someone new okay maybe more stable so this could be what you're moving away from <laughs> it's very possible okay so you're definitely moving towards someone compatible who is willing to cooperate and compromise someone who doesn't like to be single likes family so take care and we'll see you soon